Bigger the better. Oh, almost. That's so close. You see he it? almost did it. It's nice. It's okay, it's went after it. It. okay, try this one here. <laughs> you like that catch? <laughs> that was dumb. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We are here still in Michigan, and today I'm over on the BHB side of the facility, and I'm going to try and get bit by a snake. Ah! Because, A, huge snake bites fan from back in the day, it's just kind of cool to see that snake bites don't really hurt. This hurts. But the second thing is that Brian said, I'd be super hard pressed to even find a snake that'll bite me around here anymore. Ah! Because they've worked with them so much and they've, they don't really have any snakes that bite like that like they used to back in the day. It's just, oh. He said that I challenge you to actually find a snake that will bite you. So, jeez lord. Challenge accepted. And I'm gonna go through and see if I can find one of the snakes that's gonna give me a little nibble. One of the great things about this is it, it shows that, you know, snake bites really don't hurt. Oh. If you've never been bit by a snake before, non-venomous snake bites are, A, not really dangerous, less dangerous. I'd rather be bit by a snake than a, a rat or a cat or a dog or any other whole list of animals out there that have way more devastating teeth than snakes do. Snakes have little tiny teeth. Oh. Yes, they have an anticoagulant, so it bleeds a lot, which is actually a good thing because it pushes out any of the little toxins, or not toxins, but any little impurities that might get in when they break the skin. That anticoagulant makes you bleed a lot more, so it pushes any of that out. So your chance of getting an infection from a snake bite, especially if you wash it, is like second to none. Like it's it, the chance of infection is super low from a snake bite versus some other type of bite. So, with that being said, I'm gonna try and find something to bite me. <laughs> oh, I find it therapeutic, actually. Ah! Brazilian rainbow bow. I've never been bit by a Brazilian rainbow bow before. Check out this black tail kribo. So these these guys are like the South American cousins of the indigo snakes I have at home. And they're super cool, they act very similarly. Like I said, they're, they're very closely related. Uh, so it's really cool that I was actually torn when I was getting the indigo, indigo snakes as to whether or not to get a black tail or yellow tail Kribo versus the indigo snake. Obviously I picked indigo, but these guys are freaking amazing, man. Dude, I, I don't want this snake to bite me. I certainly don't. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to. And I, I'm not gonna try, you know, I'm not gonna try to like, antagonize the animal to get it to bite me. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna do that. I'm just gonna like kind of hold it and see if it it chooses to bite me. Cause I remember from those snake bites days, like snakes seemed like they were just ready to, to bite anybody. I'm just gonna kind of offer myself up. I'm not gonna try and like piss the snake off or anything. I'm just literally just gonna like offer up my skin and see if the snake's interested. And if it's not, great and fantastic. And we'll just hang out and have a good time. If somebody's interested in the skin, then there it is there for the taking. Loves to nip. Now, disclaimer, we did find a snake that really took a nice chunk out of me yesterday and we already filmed it, so, uh, not disclaimer, but spoiler alert, um, this is a pretty good bite, probably the most painful snake bite I've ever had in my life. All right, here we go. Loves to nip. Loves to nip. Oh. There's the hand. What do you think about it? I don't think she likes the sound of my voice even. But even blind as a bat, she's, yeah, she's, oh, <laughs> she's super deep in shed. She doesn't seem interested in biting me though. This is, this is the one I thought would do it for sure. She's literally, her name is Loves to Nip. So I thought for sure I'd get a little, maybe a little nip on the nip. <laughs> I thought you were going to do something over there, Bradley. I thought you were enticing her a little more. I don't know. I'm putting my hand right in front of her face. And we're getting no nips. Well, loves to nip, doesn't love to nip me. <laughs> I'm glad to, because that's a big, chunky, fat carpet python head. Oh, and massive muscles. Let me know, am I, am I crazy, am I ridiculous? Would you run around BHB, the old snake bites headquarters, looking for a, a snake to bite you? Would you? Leave a comment down below. Albino king rat, what you want? You want a piece of this albino king rat? You want a piece? You want a piece of the old Cusco here? What'd she Ooh! <laughs> she thought about it and I got scared. <laughs> she opened her mouth up on me for sure. Oh, she's talking. I've never been bit by one of these before, so I don't know what to expect if she does. Nope, I think we're good. Man, that's a stinky snake though. 
Ugh. Oh, yeah. Viper boas. These are notoriously a little striky and bitey, so let's see what we got here. This thing was sitting in the water, it looked like it was ready for some type of piece of action, but I think this is our lucky day on a viper boa. It's not gonna not gonna bite us. Here's my here's my flesh. Would you like a taste? Would you like a taste of that there human flesh? No, we're cool, right? I pet you under the chin, everything's good. Even just woke her up a little bit, I would think she'd be a little bit grumpy. But no, she's just give a little chin pet and I don't know if it's that king rat musk on my fingers still. She's just, she's chilling. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think RJ wants to be friends. I, I scare RJ, unfortunately. I really was hoping to have a little hangout session with RJ, but I just don't think he's a fan of Brian Cusco. Black Python. Black-headed python. Black python. Black-headed python. I heard some things about crackle. I heard that crackle might give you a snap crackle pop. Ooh, hi there. What'd you think? Feeling like a snap crackle pop rice krispies. Here's an arm. It's warm-blooded. It tastes something. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. I don't know what you think about, but it tastes like chicken. That's what they tell me. Oh, she's thinking about it. Nope. Changing her mind. Oh, she's still thinking about something. Nope, she backs off. She says, nope, that's not the flavor of the morning. Not the flavor today. Not this week's taste. Check out that gorgeous black-headed python, though, guys. Even extra beautiful, because she doesn't want to take a little taste of me. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that one bit. I would love to have a black-headed python. They're just, they're amazing. There's, there's so many snakes I would love to have. And... He's got to kind of pick and choose for, for me. I can't just have all the snakes in the world. Maybe someday. Maybe we'll have a reptarian of our own one day. That would be pretty amazing. Lori, do you know what snake here can help me with my acupuncture? I need a little chew. Mm. Any snake in this room? You know, I, I try not to have mean snakes. So, to be honest, and the fact that most of these are off food, they're getting cleaned out. So, at this point, the feeding response is probably not going to be too good. Um... Let's see. That's fair enough. I mean, I, I can respect you trying to yeah. raise snakes that aren't biting. I, that was that's what Brian said too, and I'm actually having a hard time finding something to bite me. It's not happening. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. I got a couple rainbow boas. Did you? I've never I've never been bit by a rainbow boa before. No. That'll be a first. Uh, again, they don't tend to be nippy, but if uh, they think you might be feeding it. <laughs> like hell no. <laughs> like, I know one that will bite you, but you probably don't want to get bit by it. Is this mangrove? <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, not even mildly venomous. I'm trying yeah, to. This one is is very mean, but you don't want to get bit by him. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to relieve my headache, not get um, one. <laughs> these guys, maybe they were a little bit Texas rats. I just got these back from a guy when I was setting them up. They were biting the hell out of me, but. Now they're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. He's like, nope, uh, there's no way I'm touching that. I'm going to hide in the water and not have anything to do with that. No. That's, yeah, that's all I need is a little second. That. It's all good. <laughs> I'll find one. Turn the batter. Oh, almost. That's so close. You see he it? almost did it. It's not it's okay. Really went after it. it. Okay, try this one here. Just touch your rat. Try that again. Try this. Let's go. No, it's not going to. Let's see. I can see almost what the way they act as soon as I carry them off. I would do fingers more than hand. There it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what you wanted, Brian? <laughs> Uh, that's what I was looking for. Is it gonna try to wrap me or is it just gonna pull me? It's gonna try to wrap you. Ah, it's pulling. I don't like when they pull. Just wrap. You already, just, this is what just you wrap signed and up be for, happy. Bro. Well, I wanted I wanted more of a chew, not so much to try to yank my finger off. Now you're oh, oh, now you're just making me all happy. <laughs> oh, why are you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for the side of the hand, not the pinky finger. So, whatever. I guess you can't pick and choose, huh? <laughs> Turn this way, Brian. I'm turning this way. 
There we go. Are we getting a nice little chew there? Getting a bit of BHB. Yeah, let me see real quick. I was I was really hoping for the uh, you know I was really I was really hoping for like the side of the meaty part of the hand, but you know, pinky knuckle, whatever. I guess this it is what it is. We're wearing the right shirt. So obviously the goal here was to, you know, we're going trying to go back to the old Snake Bites days and see if we can get bit at Snake Bites TV. And uh, yeah, we're successful. It was it was it was hard. I'm not gonna lie. It, it took some effort. It took some real. We had to search and hunt and find, and finally, we found somebody hungry enough, or willing enough, to get the work done. Well played, Brian. Now get it off. Right, right. Um, hmm. I think I'm just going to wait it out. Like, maybe, how long do you think? 15 minutes? Half hour? 45? These guys have a lot of... They're tenacious. They're tenacious? You, how long do you think it'll take me to get it off? I think in the next 10 minutes, it'll either try to eat your finger or it'll let go. <laughs> you don't think I can do anything to convince it that it should just let go? Uh, you can try. I'd like to see. All right. Yeah, it almost felt corn like for cob. a second that it was going, yeah, I'm going to try the old corn on the cob trick, see what happens here. See how you taste, huh? I don't know. She's just like, she's like, no, no, I'm hungry. That's, I don't care if you want to try and eat me too. I'm going to eat you. You're going to eat me. I'm going to eat you. It's a, it's a group effort here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, it's just making her smell bad. Oh, wait. Oh, she's biting down hard. One of the Here we go. Oh, it's starting to let go. Oh, corn on the cob does not work with Brooks Jelly Brooks. Ah, it just makes them want it more. Wow, finger, I'm really feeling it this time. Your, your trick doesn't work with these type of snakes. It's only a retick trick, I guess, because this snake doesn't you know what care. You do? Is just press on its head a little bit. Ah, it's still, oh you're such God. a dick. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it actually hurts. Is it usually, I always thought Chewie was like joking, but oh. Holy crap, that actually feels like something. Oh, oh. Jeez, Lord. I am feeling it. That was real. I wasn't, I, uh, I was trying to keep cool. Oh, I felt that one in my toenails. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> you like to get bit, oh, man. Yeah, but I just wanted to, like, you know, like, casually get bit, you know, like, kind of recreationally and, like, not actually feel it. But now I'm feeling it. Oh, man, that's amazing. I, you know, this is the... I don't think it's... Uh, oh, maybe because it's right on the knuckle or something. Man... I'm just press on his head again, Brian. No, 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 no. We don't do any more head presses. This this snake's already deep in. That's uh, she said. like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, n no, I, I this hurts. I'm not gonna. I thought that this is the first time I actually felt like it really hurts when I'm getting chewed on by a snake. I mean, I've been bit by a big retic before where it did hurt when it slapped me with its big huge head, but this one is. Uh... This one hurts a lot more than that. Can we just let go now? <laughs> I guess I asked for it. <laughs> I don't think it's working. <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, I'm not like biting down hard. Like I'm not trying to chop the snake's tail off. I'm just trying to give her a little hint that, you know, something might be trying to eat her. Maybe it's time to let go of my finger, but... Oh, he, he doesn't care. Mm -mm. Yep, there you go. Yeah, it's coming off. It's trying to. The teeth are stuck in your, your hand. No, 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 Brian. Keep your hands off. I'm done with you. open your mouth. Look. There you go. It's just getting, oh. a, it's just getting a different grip. Ah. Let go. <laughs> all right, you want me to help? No, it's all right. She, he's, he's gonna let go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, oh. Oh. No, 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 no! We're done. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you go. 
Yeah, that hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna. I'm not you even joking. I'm not even joking. It, it actually hurt. I actually felt it. You thought you were playing checkers or what? No, I, I mean, I just thought you know it was gonna be like the Mexican black thing—a nice gentle little chewing motion. That was special. All right, so yeah. my main point of making this video in the first place was like to show that it's not necessarily a big deal if snake bites. Well, even though that one was pretty painful, that the main point is that if you do get bit by a snake, it's not as bad. And it, most snakes don't want to bite you, even if you offer yourself up. Like it's just the case that snakes do not want to bite you. It's not. And maybe a little feeding response, but I couldn't not hold Lucy at some point, so I figured we'd do it in this video here. I've never got to mess with her before by myself. I've watched Brian pull her out, and she, he puts her on my shoulders, but I've never actually got to pull Lucy out myself. This is definitely an experience I wanted to have while we were here, so I'm gonna do it. Now I know that she and she's sleeping right now, so I'm just gonna kind of wake her up and let her know, hey, it's cool. I know she can be a little bit, as Brian mentioned, she can be a little bit dicey. Just kind of wake her up, pet her with the hook, let her know, hey, it's cool. Everything's good. I know she's like one of those snakes that kind of runs like a super dwarf. <laughs> Garrett Hartle's holding the camera, and that's why I said that. <laughs> what was that? I just like a super dwarf, right? <laughs> I mean, as far as like how she <laughs> tries to run a little bit. Yeah, not, I mean, a little harder to hold, I guess. <laughs> oh. All right, now we're talking, dude. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Look at that big, beautiful snake. Oh. This is almost above my pay grade, almost. <laughs> She's actually, she's actually super cool. <laughs> wow. Dude, none of my reed sticks are quite like this big, dude. It's, it's fantastic. I feel like she's my protector right now. She's like checking you guys out, like, stay back. This is my tree. <laughs> this is probably the ultimate experience here in Michigan for me right now. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a great day. I love you guys. Aloha. <laughs> as, a, as a prehistoric pet veteran, how do you think I did that? No, yeah, that was great. Yeah, they're not easy snakes. And it's amazing when they're that big, just how they completely sap your energy the second you got hands on them. They're incredible. Yeah, I, uh, I love it. It's always fun to handle a big, beautiful retic like that. I don't really miss it though, and I'm okay, like not holding her today. Like I've done that. Like I'm too tired for that. <laughs> I like my super dwarf. Brad, Bradley's a strong guy. Let's we'll see how he does. Super dwarf retake, so I play with the big guys. I'm like, yeah, we can do that. It's so beautiful. That's like, oh, can I hold the old dog, bro? All right, let's watch her go back up her tree. You guys are making me sweat just watching.